Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Vim series here on Learn Linux TV. You know, there's all kinds of things that we've gone over in this series so far when it comes to the various things that you could do within Vim. In the previous video, we went over visual mode, but another thing that I want to make sure you're aware of is you can actually split your Vim window. That means you can have two files open at the same time. Now we've done that before, kind of, we had different buffers open and we could switch between them. But in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to have two files open on the screen at the same time. And this is really cool, so let's dive in. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is how you can have more than one file open on the screen at the same time. Now in a previous episode, I showed you that you can have more than one buffer open and switch between them, but what if you wanted to have more than one file open at the same time in the same buffer? Well, let's start off by opening up a file an existing file would be a great way to go for this particular example. So I have a few different files to choose between here. So what I'll do is open up the Samba config file again. So nothing's new so far. I just opened up a file, that's all I did. Now, as we've done before, I can use E in command mode to edit a file and edit that in a new buffer. So for example, the shares config file, and as we've learned earlier, I could use buffer previous or colon BP to go to the previous buffer. And that takes me back to the previous file. Now, another thing that I wanna show you though, is that you can delete a buffer as well. So if I do colon and then buffer delete or BD for short, that's going to delete that buffer or essentially close that particular buffer. And that takes me back to the original file. And if I try to go to the next buffer again, it doesn't work because I closed that buffer. So that buffer's gone. The file is still there, but the buffer is not. So that's something that I forgot to show you guys earlier in the series, but better late than never, I guess. Anyway, let's say that I wanted to edit the shares config file as well. And I wanted to do that from this buffer instead of going to a new buffer altogether. Now there's a few different methods we could use to accomplish this. And I'll show you the first one right now. So in command mode, what we could do is type the word split. And no, I'm not trying to show you how to make a banana split, although that would be delicious. What we're going to do is split our Vim window. And what we want to do, at least in this particular example, is use an existing file, another file, to create a split with. And again, I'll use the shares config file. And then I'll press enter and watch what happens. Now both files are currently open. Now you may or may not be able to see it very well, but shares.conf, that's in bold. That's the top white line that we see right there. So the top file is shares.conf and the bottom file is smb.conf. Now up in the top of the window here, I could use the up, down, left and right arrows and move around just like normal. In fact, I could do anything that I do normally in Vim in that first window up there at the top. There's really nothing different about this other than the fact that we have two of them open instead of just one. And we have them open on the same screen. So just like before, of course, I could just make whatever changes I wanna make or something like that. Maybe I wanna delete something, you get the idea. But you might be wondering, how do I go about moving to the next file? Do you keep scrolling and then end up at the next file? Well, no, that doesn't appear to be working. So how do we move from this top quadrant to the bottom one? Well, for that, what we could do is hold Control and then press W twice. So Control, WW, that moves me to the bottom file. And we can see that smb.conf is in bold. That's how we know which one we're currently you know, editing. I think the fact that the cursor is there in that particular quadrant gives it away as well. But anyway, Control, WW, moves me to the top. And then again, takes me back to the bottom. So that's how you could flip between two different files on the same screen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this other file right here. And I could do so by simply quitting out of that file. And that's not going to quit out of Vim altogether if I have more than one split open. It's going to close that one split and take me back to the file that I had open originally. Something else that I want to show you is that when you want to split the window, you don't have to type the entirety of the word split. You can abbreviate that down to SP. 
It doesn't save you a bunch of typing, but it is something that you can do. You could shorten the command just like that, and that does exactly the same thing. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Another thing that we can do is perform a vertical split as well. And this is my favorite. It's something that I go for, and it's what I use most often. Horizontal splits are great, but considering that widescreen monitors are super popular, it might make more sense to split vertically instead of horizontally. So to do that, instead of split, I could type vSplit for a vertical split. I can give it a new file name. And I like this a lot more. We have each file shown vertically. We have a vertical divider there in the middle of the window. And just like with a normal split, control WW. So again, you're holding control and then you're pressing W twice. Every time you do that, you're switching between the two different windows here. So that's how you can go ahead and have two different files, but you can have them open in a vertical split rather than a standard split if that's what you want. Let's just close this one here and yet another example. Just like with the split option, what we could do is we can go ahead and abbreviate this as well down to VS. So if I press enter, it does the exact same thing. So I saved you a few characters there. You could type SP in command mode to split horizontally, or you could type VS in command mode and that'll split vertically. Now, what I'm going to do is quit out of this and this one here and kind of start over again. And what I wanna do is edit the combined file, which I named updated file.txt. So now that's open. And I'm just going to go to the top of the file. Again, that was GG, that takes you up to the top. And if you recall, capital G takes you to the bottom, but GG takes you to the top. Now what I'm gonna do is open up a vertical split, but check this out. I'm going to open the same file. Why on earth would I wanna do that? Well, it's going to make sense shortly, so I'll press enter, and now I have the exact same file open twice. What's interesting about this is that any changes I make to the file, regardless of which quadrant I'm in, it's going to make the change to the other one as well. So they're going to be completely synced. So if I go over here and I press enter, for example, see what happened there? So as you can see, any change that I make to the left is also made to the right, and what I'll do is delete this line. And you can see that deletion happened on the left as well. Now you might be wondering, why would you want to have the same file open twice? I mean, what's the benefit of that? And that might even be confusing to some of you out there, but actually maybe not. Let's just pretend we have a very, very large file and we need to compare one section with another. Maybe we have some config in the global section and we want to compare it to something that's later in the file. So I can scroll down and go here to this section or anywhere that I wanna go, it doesn't really matter. And I could be making changes here, and then also simultaneously making changes at the top part of the screen and just going back and forth between the end of the file and the beginning of the file. I can compare two sections side by side if I wanted to. That gives me a lot more flexibility when it comes to editing. And I don't often use this particular trick right here, but every now and then this is very useful if I am working with a large file and I want to compare one section to another. So if you didn't already know that you could have the same file open twice, well, now you do. And with that, episode number five comes to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please click that like button to let YouTube know that you enjoyed this particular episode. I would really appreciate that. Now, at this point, we've learned quite a bit when it comes to Vim. We have one more episode left, and I'll get that uploaded as soon as I possibly can. However, just take your time and make sure that you understand everything so far. And as soon as I have that episode uploaded, I'll meet you over in that episode. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.